Hi, it's Jill from Jelly Bean Studio. I hope you can join me today for some fun in a composition notebook, junk journal, and some playing in a brand new art journal. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. I am glad you are here. Today I am going to work in my composition notebook, junk journal. I have been using this in September, October, and November and really loving it. And I made this little mini, a half size composition notebook in preparation for December. So I'm gonna play with some of these today. Actually, I think I'm gonna do a November page, a little journal with me later in the video. And if you care to see how I made or prepped these composition notebooks, I will have those videos linked in the description box below. And this is the new one. This is my next adventure. <laughs> so I hope you can join me with a cup of whatever you enjoy. I would love to hear about what you're doing with journaling, what your adventures are. I decided to do a two ring binder for a new art journal. I've been thinking about this for quite a while. I know there are a lot of prompts out there and challenges, and I was really debating how I wanted to tackle some of them. So I think this is going to be the way I give it a try. I took some old wallpaper that I really thought was pretty and decided to decorate some paper bags grab some old scrapbook paper and a bunch of painty pages, put it all together. I think I have about 20 pages or so, and I'm just doing a little measuring. I didn't wanna get you with the glare of that ruler a second ago, and I think it measures about 12 inches by 10. So yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the new experiment. But for a new journal, and I think, I don't know about you, let me know, please. I would love to hear your experiences. If you've had art journals, what, what you do and what you like to work in. But I think for a journal, this is probably one of the most flexible kinds of journals because obviously you can put papers in, you can take them out. There's really, you know, not a lot of, um, not a lot of commitment at first. <laughs> so I'm liking that idea that I can put pages in, take them out. There are some inky pages on the left that I made this summer and I pressed some of the ferns from in my garden. I've plopped in some postcards that I've had for a long time in my stash. I have some like, um, I don't know, I guess they're from Nassau, um, the ones that are different stars and moons and galaxies. And then I have some Pantone postcards, the color swatches. I reinforced a lot of these pages with another piece of paper, another scrap, just so that they won't tear from the ring binding. And yeah, just, I think the, the joy of this kind of journal is to dig into your stash. What do you have? And this is another painted paper bag. A little bit of collage there. I love using book pages. And this one was pretty thick, so I didn't really reinforce that, but I probably should go back to that music paper and add some scraps. Scrapbooking paper, craft paper, more inky experiments gift bag. And then I took one of these photo inserts and plopped in more of the postcards I have. So I'm really excited. I'm hoping that I'm gonna use things from my stash, all of these things I've had. Just a piece of cardboard back there from some packaging and put it all together in the double 
double ring binding. Took a little bit of sari silk that I had, the purple and the pink, and some nice scrappy bits and, and made a tassel. <laughs> so I think if you wanna try this or maybe you've used ring bindings, I think it's a really easy journal to journal in because you have so many options, so many things that you could add or take away depending on you know how big it gets and how big you want it and all of that good stuff. So yeah, look at these pretty postcards. I love that. And what I'm thinking about is I will do different art prompts on the postcards and then somehow uh, adhere them to the page, whether I glue them or clip them or sew them. I don't know. I hope you come on this adventure with me <laughs> and I hope you give me advice because I would love to know what you do if you work in an art journal. I'm going to start on Janet Nash's prompts. She does this really sweet live on Mondays and she has prompts every week. I really often my schedule doesn't allow me to make the lives. So I'm going to do what I saw Allison do on AJ's Inspired Life. I love her art journal, by the way. It's, it's a chunky monkey. It's beautiful. And I'm just going to do the prompts when I can. And not in order, just grab them. So I'm starting today with the prompts from November 14th. And she Janet sets it up so that you have six, six things to think about for your art, art prompt. So I have on the right-hand side, sparkle, horse, string, seasonal color, swatch color, and snowflake. So, and by the way, I often speed my videos up. You'll see me kind of go back and forth with that. And also in this journal with me, I just, <laughs> I don't know about your process, but I have to keep playing with paper. I have to keep touching it, put it back, think about it. <laughs> so yeah, that will definitely be happening. Anyway, so I grabbed the Mod Podge and that's my sparkle. And I put it on the Pantone color, which is called Goat. It's a pretty taupe color. And I'm grabbing all of these bits and pieces for like the reds and the leafy greens for seasonal colors, the Pantone postcard as the swatch color. And then this bit I took from, isn't this a beautiful book page? I love this. This I took for the little mini composition notebook to put in there, but then I thought, isn't that a nice color. The buildings in it kind of match that goat color, the goat swatch color. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Oops, there I go, speeding the video up. And then if you can see the tiny snowflakes in there. So yeah, I had trimmed that down and I'm going to call that the snowflake. So right now I have the swatch color, goat, the snowflake, on that pretty bit of book page and the sparkle on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Again, I, I stop sometimes. I fast forward the camera, so pardon me for that. I'm looking for glue. I have to find my glue stick. All of that good stuff. So you would think I would be organized and have it right nearby, but sometimes I don't. <laughs> now these are the bits I'm thinking about for seasonal color. There's that glue stick that eluded me earlier. And then of course the horse. You pretty much, you got to find a horse somewhere. I found mine on Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y. If you're not familiar with it, it is a site where you can get free images and, and download them. I think there's a paid portion to the site as well, but I just took the freebie and printed it out. And as I play with this piece of string, I'm thinking it looks like, you know, how, um, oh my goodness, like you see in the old westerns or whatever, <laughs> like that lasso effect for 
I don't know, reining in a wild horse or something. <laughs> I'm feeling that that string is kind of looking like a lasso. And I might, I might kind of leave it in, in that shape or form. You'll see, I think, what I mean. I'm going to, yeah. I don't know. I kind of like that. I'm also grappling with keeping the word goat on the page because now I have an image of a horse. But goat really is the swatch color, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I think I may go ahead and glue. Yep, sure did. <laughs> so I did go glue this all down. And I decided to keep goat because it does work with the prompt having the swatch color. I'm gonna go in with a little more Mod Podge again because I am thinking that that string could use an, an extra coat. So I'm just gonna do, yeah, it's a little bit, I glued most things down with the glue stick, but I did glue the string down with some PVA glue and it seems a little bit loose to me. So I think the Mod Podge and a bit more sparkle will be fun. So what are you doing lately? What are you having fun with in your journals? I think last time we were together, I did an October flip through and then, well, that was a couple videos ago, I think, and then set up the little mini composition notebook, the last video. And I'm really excited about using that for December. So I'm gonna put that aside and let that dry. And I'm gonna pull the art journal aside as well. Yeah, so what are you doing lately? What are you journaling in? What are you excited about? I would love to know. I'm gonna move on with a November spread in this composition notebook. And again, I know I, I've said this before, but how I made this is linked in the description box below, as well as the mini composition notebook. So if you wanna check those videos out, if you wanna make one, I'll have those there for you. So yeah, this is the opening November pages. I obviously love color. <laughs> I've been playing with a lot of different bits and pieces. I have this old library card, that flash card, some fabric, some a paint, painty kind of tag, and I did those November letters and some paint scraps I had. I tend to journal, if you're not familiar with my channel, two to four pages a week. I don't journal every single day. And I like to do my writing on tags and tuck-ins and things like that. Although sometimes like this page, I write directly on the page. So some Thanksgiving planning. We had a fun taco bar night the other night. Put in a little tag. I just actually hole punched that and tied it in with that pretty piece of ribbon. And this is one of my printables, the um, the numbers, and so is the sun, moon, and stars strip there. I have those, by the way, free for you if you are interested. I would love if you want to use them in your journals. I have them in the little coffee cup app that is in my YouTube banner. So check those out, download those if you're interested. I did a sun, moon, and star theme, and I also have some of the, the date numbers and such. I think while the Mod Podge is drying, I'm gonna go in and use a little bit of watercolor on the right-hand side page. I put in just some really fun quotes that I loved and on the left hand side, I have one of those calendars with the, like what the holiday of the day is or something. <laughs> and if you don't mind crinkly pages, and I don't, I actually love them, then your composition notebook 
lined paper will take watercolor just fine. However, the clear tape that I put on the left does not. So I'm gonna, I, I made a problem for myself and I'm gonna have to fix that in a little bit, but on the actual paper, and it will dry a little bit lighter, watercolor generally does. I'm just gonna splash around and just add a bit of a background. Yeah, so for my November and into December journaling, I am very happy about this new art journal. I think it's such a good, easy beginner journal as well. And I'm thinking that Barbara of 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel, um, her YouTube channel is Louisa Heinzel. Yeah, see, ooh, that is a mess right there gonna have to fix that <laughs> uh, are oh that's a reminder to myself to tell you about the free printables which I already did so yes <laughs> I hope you grab those if you're interested in uh, they are gonna have their ephemera challenge in December so I'm thinking the art journal would be great for that too and what I'm showing you now is some washi tape and I think the problem I caused for myself with having all these pretty colors and paint on the right, and then that clear tape that shows the notebook page in the middle, I think I'm gonna solve that problem by covering it with some washi tape. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a glue stick to give the washi tape is so low tack that I think I'm gonna need the glue stick to get it to stick to that tape. Okay, so we'll let that dry and we'll go back one more time and see if our art prompt postcard is dry. I'm gonna grab that. Oops, there we go. Again, speeding up a little bit. Got the journal. Gonna grab the postcard. And before I do that, I did grab, I'm still figuring out and I would love to know your ideas and suggestions, how you adhere things to your art journal. If you sew them in, like put them in pockets, if you clip them in, if you glue them in. I'm thinking also those photo page clear, clear pages would be a good thing to pop postcards in. And I, I have one in the back already, but I thought I might add more. And I could put them in these pockets, but I don't know, I might wanna see some of the artwork on the postcards. So I'm still trying to figure that out. So I would love to hear what you're doing in your art journals or if you have any ideas. I do love a good paper clip. What I'm thinking about right now is finding a good spot that also has some of the colors of the postcard. So again, I think this art journal is going to be for a bunch of challenges. I want to try more of Janet Nash's prompts. I want to try the um, 49 Dragonflies, Barbara's, and Louisa, Louisa Heinzel's prompts. So I think I'm just gonna go for it and mix and match. Okay, I think I like that. I like the colors on that painty paper bag. And I'm gonna clip it in for now. It's a start, right? <laughs> Here's a close up. So I will link all those channels below. I hope you check them out. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it and happy journaling to you.